Okay, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at using dynamic paint uh, for, say, painting a nice masterpiece onto this canvas here. In fact, what I'm going to try and do, and I'm not sure I can, is I want to try and launch the uh, I want to try and launch the objects into the scene onto the canvas like that. So basically, what I have is I have four four paint objects set up right now. This blue cube and these other three, and this, this is a control object. These four are parented to this, so when I move this back in the scene, they all just go with it, like that. And that's how I was able to paint onto the scene. And of course, this is a dynamic paint canvas, so we, basically within dynamic paint, you have to select paint, which is world by default. In fact, I'm just gonna show you. I'll just close that up like that. And when I select dynamic paint, I just select canvas and then add a canvas. That's all that's really required for this, but we're going to come and change this dry time here as well in a little bit. So, and then these have to be individual brushes. So I won't get rid of these just yet, but you can see what I've done here. For this one here, I specify it as a brush, dynamic paint brush, and then I also had clicked use object material. And when you do that, then you have to pick the material that you're using in the scene, and that was this yellow one there. So then each one, I specify, say that green is material 005, right? So each one has its own color, and so that's the color then that will be used to paint onto the canvas like that. So then when I grab the brush, like this, or grab this to control all of them like this, I should be able to come up here, and when, it, when the system is running, you should be able to paint with all of them. Now to get it to run, you have to pressure Alt A to run the animation. So I'll do that. I'll actually have a, I'll actually have an animation set on this one. This is what I was actually going to try and do. I'm not sure this is going to work, but um, so really, I'm just, I'll just let me do something here so you can see what I did there in advance. I'm going to grab the graph editor. We haven't done a lot with the graph editor, but it's really powerful. And I'll show you what I'm doing is I basically. There's the graph editor, and you see what it's doing? It's just repeating that cycle over and over again, like that. So I'll show you how I did it. I'll press A, and that, and I pressed A again. That selects everything, and then I'm going to delete all the keyframes, just like that. So what I had done in here, well, maybe we'll just do it from this side. I'd gone back to frame 1, or 0. We'll start it at 1, and I press I for my location keyframe there, and then maybe up at frame 50, I'll just move it till it's just passed through the surface, and then I'm going to press I as another location keyframe. And you can see I just set that first keyframe. You can see it in the graph editor. So if I move my thing down here, you can see the X. And notice this is X because if you press this button here, X is in red. All right. So I know that red line represents that. But I want I want that to repeat over and over again, so I can paint with it. At least that's what I'm going to do in a minute. Before we do that, so we'll use this as practice, and we'll just we'll get rid of them again. So now I'm coming up here. I'll just move them right up to the scene like this. I'm going to press Alt A and let it run. Move this down out of the way. Rotate the thing in here, and then I'm going to go press. If my axis is there's Y and Z, that means I don't want to move it on X. I'm just going to press G Shift X. That means I should be able to move this and paint, oh yes, I'll paint onto the scene with my four brushes and it'll reset when it comes to the animation down there where it says 454, like that. So I'm going to paint my fine masterpiece except the blue is not painting all the way. Well, I guess that my paint canvas must be tilted. So the blue is only showing up down there. So let's verify that. Let's and let's see, oh, it's at 95 degrees, so I'm going to change it to 90 degrees like that. Then I'm going to start the animation again. Grab this G Shift X. All right, that's working, except they're not they're not quite close enough. Uh, that one's at the surface. So when I put them into this, oh, I see, they're not all quite lined up. I'll move the blue one back a little bit. So those three are on, then I'll move this one onto the surface like that. All right. And that's on X. So now, now I should be able to run it. 
have that guy, Alt A, G, Shift X. All right, there I'm painting again, like I wanted, wanted the surface. All right, so we can create our masterpiece if we want. And then we should be able to rotate this masterpiece as well. So what if I just press R, X, R, X? Oh, there we can. Then we can paint with rotations like that. And and then we can, you know, come up with all kinds of combinations. But really the combination I wanted to try was to really send it back here, stop that, give that location keyframe, oops, control Z that, go back over down to here, give that as the location keyframe. And then up here at 50 again, this is just good practice. And then set that as another location keyframe. Then within the graph editor, you go to the channel extrapolation mode make cyclic like that so then they all run across theoretically if it's doing it maybe I should be able to grab the canvas and be moving it back and forth on the y-axis at the same time that my brush keeps zooming through so it's going through painting that one section but if I take this brush here and press GY if I move it back and forth oh yes it's painting as it goes right so depending on how fast you move it, you know, you could paint as you go. So you could come up with all kinds of cool, interesting things, you know, painting that way. All right, well, there you go. That kind of gives you an idea of the, the power of dynamic paint and the fun stuff you can do with it. And I could come up with all kinds of creative ways, but I'm sure you can too. And so I'll let you have at it, and I'll see you in the next lesson.